it's Zoe. So I haven't done a vlog in a while, so I thought I'd do one. So I just got back from seeing Fair American Outsider. So I thought I'd tell you about my day. So if you want to just hear about the Fair American part, skip ahead, possible a bit. So I actually wore this cat hoodie thing to my college. So to understand why I wore it, I will have to go back to yesterday. So I got up, my mum picked me up, we went shopping and I bought this cushion which is a V-shape pillow, I've got the packaging over there and it's all fluffy, it has this like teddy bear fleece on it and it's so warm. So I went to bed last night and it was so warm and comfy and I got really good night's sleep like because of the shape it is I had back and front and even neck support so I woke up with no bad back, really nice night's sleep and I woke up and I was like I really don't want to get out of bed. So I got dressed and as I go through my like chest of drawers before I get dressed I'm like I don't have any clothes. So I go downstairs to like the utility room to get my clothes that I haven't bought up from washing days ago. So I bring them up, I'm going through them to put them away and I find this cat hoodie and I'm like why don't I wear that? I can't like stay in bed all day so I'll wear this to college. So I go to college in this all day, amazing. <laughs> Um, and then a little while before the end of the day, my mum had to pick me up and take me to the doctor's because I was a bit sick. So I'm absolutely fine. Um, what was wrong with me was I am on phylloxetine for um, depression and anxiety. So I forgot it for like three days because I was at my mum's. I was here, there and everywhere. I was like shopping, college. Um, at my mum's like I was everywhere. I didn't have my meds at all times. I was forgetting them because I was so busy. So I forgot to take them for three days in a row. So I took them this morning and I felt rubbish. So I ended up going to the doctor this afternoon and she did some, you know, basic tests, uh, blood pressure, heart, follow the light with your eye, follow my finger, that sort of stuff. And she said, you're fine, you know. She said, the tests say, you know, like your blood pressure, everything's fine. So she said, I think you've fallen over because of your ear because like I have a bit of pain in my ear and I'm sort of wobbling around my pants ain't very good so she checked my ear and she said that this one's a bit blocked can't see the eardrums that sums that up um <clears throat> and then some of my other symptoms were because I'm starting to get migraine again so um and just as I say that I'm getting aura in my eyes so if you don't know what that is it's just like lights in your eyes which is really bad because I really don't want to get a migraine so yeah um so moving on I was at college you know I went to the doctor, saw the doctor, and then we went out, and we like we had a bit of time to kill. Um, the tickets at 7 p.m., but it started at 8, so like we got down to like the place that we were seeing it at, and it was like five when we got there. So we did a bit of wandering around, looked at some shops, went down to like um there were some gardens nearby with some birdies, so we were looking at birds and walking around being weird and then we went to a restaurant no we didn't we did go to a restaurant not quite then uh we went to this bubble tea place and we had a bubble tea i don't know if you know what that is i didn't until i had it and it's basically they make this tea with a flavor so i had honey peach and then the bubbles are like you know like orbeez they're like edible orbeez in a flavor and they were amazing i finished a drink before the little bees and we went to the restaurant it was like a like sort of noodly restaurant i think and noodles in so we were sitting waiting for our food and i had the cup in front of me and i'm like sucking all the little beads through the straw past the ice into my mouth and they're popping and they taste amazing so me and my mum were gonna go there again weekend so i'll probably be in the vlog soon so we have our dinner, it's amazing, we go back, we have a look at the birds, we're walking around, we go to a sweet shop before, because there will be another video about this, I will do a complaint video about this, but the prices at these shows are ridiculous, like we spent a lot of money on um, merchandise from the show, which we're fine with, but what gets us is you go in there, and the chocolate bars are marked up really high, and you can't get all the sweets you want, so every time we go there, like, they have, like, two different types of chocolate bars. That's it. So you can get, like, one or two different types of chocolate bar, and you can get, like, a sandwich or a cake. It's, like, 
what if we want jelly beans? So we went to a sweet shop, I bought a ton of jelly beans, and by the end of the show I'd eaten them all. So we went into the show and as we were walking into the thing, um, this boy had won the programmes and we asked the mum if it was worth getting, she was like, I haven't seen it yet. So as we were walking in, I'm like reading it over his shoulder, I'm very cheekily reading it over his shoulder. I'm like, oh, this looks interesting, I want it. So me and my mum go in, I'm not going to spoil the show for you, but it was great, she was really funny, we were laughing, my cheeks were hurting from laughing so much, it was fantastic. And it was a great show, and then we come out and join the interval and we got the Sarah Millican Outsider book, which is amazing. Um, but the other thing I got, so the program was £5, and then the other thing I got, which was £4, which I think is actually quite worth it, is the car freshener. So it says Sarah Millican Outsider. But the bit I like is the back, which is where I bought it. LDF. Long Day Fanny. <laughs> so, I don't have a car, but I thought this would be funny for my room. Because for those of you who don't know, I live in independent living, so we have like support staff to help us if we like we need help cooking our meals and stuff like that. So sometimes the support staff come into my room to help me make my bed because I struggle with the duvet, or help me hoover, or help me take some trash out, or something, or just like check that my room's tidy, or make me like remind me to take my meds, or like they haven't seen me all day and it's dinner time or lunch time, they just make sure I'm alright. And I invite them in, and I thought this would be really funny, because I'm asking one of the staff, can they whack a couple of nails in my wall? So I'm going to ask them to whack an extra one in, and they're going to hang this up, so that when they come in, they see this, because I thought that was funny. Okay, so, we went in for the second half, absolutely funny. So, before I get to the badges, which are really cool, I just wanted to say something. So, if Sarah's watching this, um, her show was amazing. One thing that I really related to in her show was the bullying and also the like the body image like, I really related to her I really connected with her body image like the confidence of her body image and the bullying part and I feel like I really connected to her and yeah so you know I was watching her and she was talking about her like body self-confidence issues and how she's bullied and that made me think why am I doing this to myself like every day when I'm getting dressed I look in the mirror and I look at every little stretch mark I have to like use like magnifying eyes and I look at every little stretch mark and I'm like that's so ugly and you know I'm looking at all stretch marks particularly on my boobs and I'm looking at all stretch marks on my stomach all over, like on my arms, legs, boobs, and my stomach. I'm looking at every single stretch mark, criticising how they look. And then I'm thinking, why, well, how do I care? Because nobody else sees stretch marks, apart from my boyfriend, he didn't give a crap. <laughs> so yeah. So I'm thinking, why do I give a toss about them? And then the other thing that I was thinking was why am I wearing makeup which I don't know why I'm wearing it right now like this happened about two weeks ago somebody at my college was being a bit mean you know just picking on any little thing and it made me feel really insecure so I decided that I wanted to wear makeup to cover up the spots because he was picking on any little teeny weeny thing so I was like Right, I really don't want him to notice the spots on my face and tease me. So I started putting makeup on. Um, then I got teased for looking a bit orange. So that foundation was a little bit too like dark for my skin tone. So I changed foundation. And then, of course, you still get bullied picking. But one thing that watching Sarah American told me was, why the hell do I care so much? Like, it's my body. These stretch marks only me and my boyfriend see and it's my face and if this guy really has to pick on me about every little spot and all my imperfections then obviously he has a lot of insecurities of his own and people who pick on little teeny things they're just like they're itty bitty they they're just they feel tiny 
and they're looking in the mirror every morning and they're seeing all these stretch marks and these spots and they're thinking oh my god I'm not perfect so to make themselves feel bigger they have to bully people go oh look you got spots and oh look you got a little stretch mark there on your arm to make you feel itty bitty so that they feel big so don't give them the power if they want to make you feel small whatever it's your body you don't have to put makeup on to make them happy and you don't have to be picky about your stretch marks love yourself for who you are don't care about what others think about you okay so moving on at the end we got these free badges which were cool so they were giving out badges which said pet or flower so flower was if you were independent pet was seeking and then <laughs> one of the jokes she said um related She made these badges. So that is pure. We did donate some money to the charity. So yeah. So that was my day. So thanks for watching. Please rate, subscribe and comment. And check out my other channel for my like period videos about cloth pads and other stuff. Because periods aren't gross and taboos are addictive.